Friends, let us observe this attract surgery. As I wash the trypan blue dye out with meiosis, I find that vitreous strands are coming at the aspirating port of the Simco cannula. So I flush out these vitreous strands, come out, inject viscoelastic substance, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here it is. Inject SPMC and push all the vitreous stands inferiorly. Now I want to do capsulorexis. As I try to make a puncture on the anterior surface, I find that there is wrinkling of the anterior capsule and the whole lens moves. This indicates genular weakness, genular, genular dehiscence at some point. In this case, there is genular tear centering 3 o'clock. Very gently, very cautiously, without any jerky pull, I'm doing this capsulorexis. Here I leave and regrasp and I'm trying to do an optimum sized rexis. You can see that vitreous strands are coming towards the main incision as there is some leakage of SPMC which is strands are coming superiorly and here this is an adequate rexis now uh, what I do is I do some hydro free dissection with a spatula make some space and then I here before introducing the capsular tension ring um, this is tricot this is tramsinolone acetate and I use the vitrectomy cutter to cut the vitreous strands there are a lot of vitreous strands at 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, even at 2 o'clock. So all these vitreous strands are cut and removed. I make the anterior chamber free of vitreous strands. Now, after injecting viscoelastic substance, I put this CTR. The leading end goes under the rexis, under the anterior rim, anterior capsular rim, and here I hold the trailing end stay there, introduce a Sinsky hook and try to place it but here I cannot release it when this thing happens take a chopper or another Sinsky hook in your right hand go there and just press the Sinsky hook has no other way but to release the trailing end of the CTR now the bag is supported and I do fake emulsification by direct chop. I did the technique which I learned from Dr. Naran Bardului, no hydro fake technique.
and there's some epinucleus as I try to remove the epinucleus I find that the posterior capsule is coming so I just flush out the epinucleus inject some viscoelastic substance and come out I know that I have to manage the epinucleus in other means either I have to enlarge the main incision or if it comes by the Simco cannula that is very good in this case it was possible to remove the epinucleus gradually slowly with lot of patients by the Simco cannula and here when there is CTR it is it takes a lot of time and you have to be very cautious very gentle to remove the cortical matter in this case after removing the cortex I was thinking which lens to put and I have selected a 5.25 millimeter PMMA lens because the PMMA lens has a haptic which can support this area more than the haptic of a foldable lens so here I place this haptic at, at this place dial the lens and support the genular dehiscence at 3 o'clock Again, I inject some tramsinolone acetate and do some more cutting with the vitreous cutter. There was some more vitreous strands noted and it was nicely removed by this vitreous cutter. and we can see that the bag is being nicely supported by the lens and now I put some sutures, two interrupted sutures to close the enlarged incision and it looks like this this patient did very well and at the end the surgery looked nice this is the post-op picture the eyes quiet this first day post-op